a little bit too much, uh, too much going on. So number 12 is a to the fourth b cubed c squared plus 2a cubed b cubed c cubed plus a squared b cubed c to the fourth. So in factoring a problem like this, um, what we want to look at, ladies and gentlemen, is determine what our GCF is. And remember, our GCF is going to be our greatest common factor, the largest um, variable, or the variable to the largest degree in all three of my terms. Yes? It's um, a squared, b cubed, c squared. OK, so let's take a look. You say a squared, b cubed, and then c squared, right? Yes. Good. So now, what are we going to do with our GCF? If we need to factor out a GCF, Let's factor out everything by our GCF. We always want to make sure we do that first. So by factoring out our GCF, which we know is a squared, b cubed, c squared. So by factoring out our GCF, we're going to have a squared, b cubed divided by b cubed is 1, c squared divided by c squared is 1. So we factor out our GCF. Then we have plus 2, a cubed divided by a squared is a b cubed divided by b cubed is b, and then c cubed divided by c, our c squared is just going to leave us with c. Then we go to our last term, which is plus a squared divided by a squared is 1, b cubed divided by b cubed is 1, and c squared divided by c squared is, or c to the fourth divided by c squared is c squared. OK? So now we factor our GCF. And you always want to look into, once you factor our GCF, can you factor it anywhere further? No. Well, what we notice is this is a difference of, I'm sorry, not a different squares. This is a perfect square trinomial. So you can rewrite this as a perfect square trinomial as a plus c times a plus c, which would be a plus c squared. Oh my God. OK? So that is going to be your Final answer. Do you want to know how I knew that or how I got that?